So I'm very pleased to have been involved with a poster that's going to be presented here on the use of erythropoietin or EPO in autoimmune hemolytic anemia. So again, I was very pleased to be included in that study, which was le um, led by some friends of mine who are colleagues in Italy. Um, I think this is underestimated. I don't think people um, enough um, as physicians check the EPO levels in patients with autoimmune hemolytic anemia. But it can be of benefit, particularly in those who have a lower reticulocyte count response. So we should really be checking these levels in patients that may still need transfusions, because we could possibly achieve transfusion independence if we use this as a different measure. So I think when we're monitoring these patients and we're giving the first line therapy and then sometimes we're moving straight on to second line if first line has failed, maybe at that point checking the erythropoietin level and if the erythropoietin level is um, inappropriately um, lower than you would expect for the degree of haemoglobin, which obviously might mean it's elevated a little bit, but not to the extent that you would expect for someone with anemia, then exogenous administration of um, EPO can certainly try and improve that haemoglobin level further.